Well, I want to discuss capturing uh, the the essence of uh, sunlight, and I want to use this Lynch Meal painting as an example. Uh, he's really one of the greats, and uh, I have such respect for this guy. Any anyway, rate, uh, so I've taken the painting and I've uh, reduced it to black and white so that you can clearly see how he's using value contrast. Let me pull this red up a little bit more. He's using value contrast to capture that illusion. And he's, uh, he's pushed it. I mean, that's a really dark, dark. So is that. You're not seeing a lot of information in there. But boy, does it really help uh, a pick up on that feeling of a light versus shadow that you see there. So uh, remember, folks, value is the very foundation of color. And you want to think in terms of, of value first. And, uh, and so, if, like I say, reducing this to black and white, you can clearly see how he was able to pull that off and do it beautifully. I mean, he's got a full range here from uh, mid-tone to dark to light. He reintroduces this mid-tone up here, which is the same as this one here. And so it's a series of bands of, of, of value that really, with a nice strong vertical, I'll say, that really uh, help to create that, uh, that illusion of sunlight. Now keep this in mind, folks. Uh, when we're outdoors and we're dealing with natural light, that sun, the power of the sun and the light that it uh, that it emits is uh, hundreds of times greater than than what we can capture uh, with our paint. Think of it this way: your painting doesn't exist until a light is shining on that painting. If you were to put it in uh, in a dark room you're not gonna see it. It doesn't emit light. So we have to use tricks like really pushing value like you see here to create that illusion of stronger highlight. The problem is many folks think that the the only way really to do that is, is with value contrast and by amping up value contrast. Well, it's not. Color also plays an important role. So it's up to you as the artist to decide how far you wanna push it. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and move to the to the uh, color image so that you can see what the, the difference it makes when you really amp up color and let color play a part of this game too. So again, mid-tone, dark, uh, highlight, you can see how it really helps uh, focus our attention through this band of, of sunlight right here. And, and what it does. But when we go to the color image, it's gonna make all the difference. So hold on a sec. Okay, now look at a difference. Uh, look at the difference it makes when you inject color into things. The trick here, folks, is to use pure color. Uh, this always goes to white on me, but uh, you can really see uh, how that nearly makes you wanna squint when you <laughs> look at this painting. And, uh, and he's kind of, uh, Sandwich this uh, sunstruck area between the dark up here and the dark down there value But boy look what happens when he goes and injects pure color into this area here It just comes alive and that's an important thing to remember folks start with the value Decide how far you want to go with the value contrast and then let color pick up the rest let it really uh, Take on and create that illusion of strong sunlight uh, this is pretty rich color here, but it's it's when you squint down because it's a uh, slightly darker in value, more to a mid tone. It sets back there and doesn't command near the attention. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, when you look at this area here, squint down, and any color that you see in there disappears and gives way to value. But, but boy, uh, right where he wants you to see it in that band of light that's that, uh, nailing that cliff right there, it just comes alive. So again, it's important, folks, to, to use everything at your disposal, disposal to create that illusion of sunlight. Uh, we're very limited in what we have in, in, uh, in our, uh, on our palette, so we have to push the extremes in order to make that work. And two of them are value contrast and color saturation. So keep that in mind when you're painting a sunset on a, on a row of trees or a distant hillside or whatever it may be, particularly when you have the uh, shadow, uh, a foregrounded shadow like this that really sets you up to, to go up here and, and push the color. You'll also notice that he kept, within this whole mass here, he kept the value shifts very close. They're subtle, 
uh, shifts down in here, subtleties down in there that uh, that you see. But for the most part, it's it's pretty close and it's uh, uh, very close in color as well. A few little uh, shifts here and there to create uh, modeling, but uh, boy. That uh, clip just comes alive, uh, alive. It makes me feel like I need a pair of sunglasses to look at it. So remember, folks, once again, value and color when you're trying to suggest sunlight are your friends. Hi, my name is Matt Smith. One of the primary goals of this online course is to give folks the opportunity to study with me for a full year at their convenience, on their own time frame. It's not always easy to block out a week or more time to travel to a distant location for the purpose of studying with an artist of choice. Allowing oneself to study as their schedule permits creates a more relaxed atmosphere which in turn opens the mind to learning. This is an opportunity I really wish I had in my early years. The course begins with an introductory module covering the basic consideration of tools, equipment, studio arrangement, lighting, the importance of indoor versus outdoor time, photography as a tool, and much more. This first module will set the tone for the remaining modules, which will dive more deeply into the basics of drawing, value, design, and color. In the remaining four modules, I'll discuss why these basics are important how to identify them, and in return, how to use them not only to analyze your chosen subject, but how to use them to create a blueprint for building your painting. It is so important to train your mind to see and think as an artist rather than someone who just documents what's in front of them. The way to do this is by understanding these fundamentals and applying them to the subject at hand. In other words, see by way of the basics, line, shape, value, etc rather than all the physical components that make up the finished scene, like twigs, pebbles, and leaves. I'll then reinforce these concepts with both unedited visuals, photographs, and finished paintings that support the idea at hand. I'll then complete a demo of a subject that represents the particular fundamental addressed in each module. I'll also include a variety of photographic images for student use. Participants will also have access to me throughout the year by way of a private Facebook group. You'll be able to contact me with questions related to areas of difficulty or whatever you may be working on and want to discuss. This one-on-one -on -one time is where we can really fine-tune areas of interest for you. Thank you and I really hope you can join me.